Oh, hello, you sexy bi- Hang on, no, someone could do this way better than me. Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Hans Capon in Kingdom Come Deliverance 1, and now 2. Yes, that feels good to say. Uh, my name's Luke Dale. I am the motion capture artist, model, and voiceover artist for him. And I've known about this sequel way too long. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really good to say this. Um, <laughs> and I'm really glad that Roxy now knows as well. Couldn't be more excited to share this with you. It's been so long. Um, everybody, everybody at this studio has worked unbelievably hard, and I know, I know how good this game is going to be because. Um, I've been there. Uh, so you're in for a real treat. Please enjoy this, enjoy the moment. Roxy, I just wanna say thank you for all you've done over the last few years. You've kept the faith, you've, you've worked so hard, you've made such good content, and, and I hope now you've got a whole bunch more <laughs> to go. So thank you, love you very much. Um, and that's me. Yeah. So that just happened. Thank you, Luke Dale, AKA Hans Capon from Kingdom Come Deliverance one and two. I've known for a week now about this game, and um, I'm so happy that you now know as well. I want to hear your favourite parts of the trailer in the comments below. When I got contacted to view this game, I uh, didn't quite know what to expect. Of course, for the longest time we've been talking about Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 as being a thing. I will say it did surprise me that they stuck with Deliverance. I was certain that they were going to have a different subtitle, something like Retribution. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. But now we know what this is, we can finally delve into this. And I am going to be making a breakdown. I have taken over 130 photos from the trailer that I posted yesterday and Warhorse posted. And I'm going to be going into some interesting things, including the fact that we actually get to see the start. We get to see some new characters. We get to see new mechanics in Kingdom Come 2, including the new crime system, which I think looks absolutely incredible. We've also got Farkle, we've got blacksmithing, we have a ton of new stuff to look at, uh, and I am so happy that over the next couple of months we're going to be getting more details about this game. Now, if you're like me, you've probably seen the trailer now about 70 million times, and every time I've viewed it, I've noticed something different. For instance, what is Hans Capon looking at here? Now, my theory is it's the eclipse from a couple of days ago. Silly Hans Capon for not wearing bloody protective eye gear, though. Also, something you may not have noticed is that old Henry. We'll delve into that. Oh my god, there is so much to talk about with this game. And I'll be doing that in my next video. I just wanted to get this out there to kind of put out the feelers for how you're feeling. Because this is a massive community experience that's happening right now. We are all finding this out around the same time. And I just want to hear what you're um, thinking. And if this maybe did surprise you. And if not, why? There's going to be a ton of content on the channel, do not worry, but I'm not the only one. I want to mention two of my good friends, Resonant and Knight's Arcade. Now, Knight's Arcade, he is going super in-depth into a breakdown. Uh, you need to see it, so I'm going to leave a link in the description below. He's incredible. He's been here since the very start of Kingdom Come, the same as Resonant. Now, I actually don't know what Resonant's making, he hasn't said, but I'm pretty damn sure it's going to be incredible. So I'll leave a link in the description below, go and subscribe, we'll make this community better together, and I think that is going to be really fun. And expect collabs soon. I want to quickly mention the things I'm most excited about, because uh, we've seen gameplay. Uh, yes, that was actual gameplay, and uh, apart from some obvious cutscenes, the gameplay itself looks incredible. The combat has had a massive upgrade. There's one scene where um, an NPC um, who's fighting Henry actually physically pulls down his helmet. That's something we didn't see in Kingdom Come 1. Also, there appears to be a lot more emotions on their face now. Um, and just graphically, this is leaps and bounds beyond Kingdom Come Deliverance. Of course, this game is going to be taking place uh, a majority in Kotnohora. 
and the nearby Trotsky Castle. And those locations look mind-blowing. Uh, uh, I'm just going to say it. Incredible. In my reaction video that I did when I first saw the trailer, which is uh, right there, top right, when I saw uh, Kurt Nahora, for example, I did not know how this was going to run. Um, <laughs> if we know Kingdom Come Deliverance, Ratai uh, really stressed out a lot of systems. Oh, 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 11, oh, 4, 6, 2. <laughs> Can we get it to 0? Here we go. Ah, oh, nearly. I, sh I would have said that was 0. Oh, the stutter. 1, 1. We got it to 1. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We killed it! Yes! I'm amazing! What is that? Error device hung? Ooh, Henry. And the fact that this city is like three times the size. It's insane how big this place is going to be. I don't know how this is going to work. Apparently, it's working great and it looks great in the trailer it's super smooth and oh my just honestly the work that warhorse has done here is like nothing else i've seen right they had kingdom come one which i think was um started out as more of an independent thing and then became like a double a game and i think this is going full triple a there is a perfect example uh, that my good friend Lenny said, hello Lenny, where basically this is War Horse's Witcher 3, right? You of course had CD Projekt Red bring out the Witcher 3. Before then, yeah, people played Witcher 1 and 2, but they weren't mainstream. I think this is going to be War Horse's Witcher 3. And I, I, I'm incredibly excited to see how that uh, turns out. And the uh, whole new audience that this game is going to get. To be honest, I personally recommend uh, Warhorse reaching out to Xbox and maybe getting this on Game Pass day one. I think that would also really help in terms of getting the game out there. And yeah, it's coming 2024, um, which is mind-blowing. I wasn't expecting it to come out um, in this year. I knew it was going to be announced. Like, it had to be, right? But I wasn't expecting it to actually come out this year, so that is extremely exciting. Now, personally, I hope this is going to be maybe November or uh, possibly October. I think that's asking a little bit too much, though. So, my favourite things. Crossbow, finally. <laughs> right? Crossbows. Um, the new interaction system with NPCs. This is something that I have been saying since I first played Red Dead Redemption 2. That had a really cool system where any NPC you looked at, um, you could um, say a positive or negative thing to them. It breathed life into these NPCs. And Kingdom Come 2 is going to have a similar system to that. What? Just... My head explodes even thinking about the, the possibilities here. How big this place is going to be. How detailed and immersive this is going to be over Kingdom Come 1. And Kingdom Come 1 was incredibly immersive, right? Incredibly immersive. We even have hand cannons. <laughs> They're just baffling, honestly. They look ridiculous, and I'm so excited. So I mentioned the crime system before. Um, it looks like uh, you may get punished for doing different things. So there is a scene in the trailer where Hans, I'm guessing, is paid to get Henry out of prison, right? But there's also a scene where Henry is being displayed um, to the public and being what looks like branded, which is awful. But could that be um, a, a circumstance of a crime he's committed, like a smaller crime, maybe? Uh, that seems really interesting. And they did say uh, there's going to be a lot more depth when it comes to the actions you take in the world. We've still got the similar stealth system that we had before, uh, which was good. I personally like the stealth system. Um, they even seem to use that same grab behind and get him in the neck animation, which is, is great. Um, but, like, I'm just excited about the possibilities of what this could lead to and how the world will view Henry. You know what I'm most excited about, though? I'm most excited about just going into the woods and exploring. 
Um, Kingdom Come Deliverance uh, was great for the woods and the forest and uh, just kind of walking and stumbling across things. And I think this is going to really benefit from having these two maps. Two maps. Uh, it doesn't appear that we'll be going back to Kingdom Come 1's map. Um, from the trailer anyway, there was no footage at all of Kingdom Come 1. We will now have two massive maps. So we'll have um, this incredibly beautiful uh, Bohemian Paradise, which I've never heard of before. It kind of reminds me of the New Forest in England, but obviously a lot damn prettier. Good God, it looks good. Um... We also have the Kutnohora map, which is going to, I guess, have small little towns dotted around Kutnohora and, of course, Kutnohora itself. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm assuming we're going to be transitioning between these two and hopefully we'll be able to go back and forth between the two. Um, but I am just incredibly excited to just go hunting, maybe, in the big Bohemian Paradise map. Um, I'm hoping there's going to be more, uh, like, random mysteries we can stumble across and find. Um, Easter eggs, I'm fingers crossed, fingers crossed for some sexy biscuit Easter eggs. <laughs> You'll have to keep me updated if you find any. Also, uh, I will say, no, I am not voice acting in this game, and uh, I am gutted. Uh, so, apparently, they just didn't think to ask. <laughs> So it's fine. It's all right. Look, hey, I'm, I'm available for the DLCs, all right? So if you want the Bailiff of Biscuit Town DLC, then uh, badge your war horse about it. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Hello, it is I, Henry, Bailiff of Biscuit Town. A Merry Christmas to you, and screw you. Die! Oh, what a lovely Christmas message. Give to those who care and take the lives of those who don't. I hate you and your silly biscuits. <laughs> but no, I am not in the game. I can officially say that. Uh, I, yeah, I slightly gutted. I, I will be honest. I just wanted to play a, a, a silly goober. But um, we'll see. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I get a role later on. Maybe in a DLC or something. But as I said, I just want to hear what you guys think. I need to say a massive thank you to Luke Dale and Tom McKay. Like, both of them have been so lovely. And you saw in yesterday's videos that they did intros. Like, Tom McKay did a really cool intro and I edited it to look like he was in Gutnora. Um I'm just very grateful. Um, the communication from Warhorse uh, was awful. Um... <laughs> before last week but now ah, oh, it's great uh no i understand ndas and all that but it, it's just really nice uh to be able to talk to these people and um share them with you as well and i really really want you guys to go to the link in the description below not only for knights arcade and resonant but also luke dale uh, there's a link tree down there go and click on that go and follow and subscribe and everything to him uh, the same as tom mckay there are links for him as well because he now has an Instagram so he's going to be posting some hopefully behind the scenes stuff which could be interesting for Kingdom Come 2. I'm going to go. Uh, I think I need like a week rest. Um, <laughs> I'm just, honestly, this has been the craziest week of my life. Uh, yeah, all I can say is I'm excited. You know, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me and I'm excited for Warhorse. Uh, this is going to be their big break, I think, and that's really, really exciting. And we're all going to be in it together. Um, so thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Uh, that really does help. Thank you to my new members as well. I didn't even know that was a thing. Thank you. You're amazing. Um, depending on how the live stream went last night, I don't know because I'm recording this before. But if anyone did subscribe during that, thank you. Just keep being awesome. And I'll be back soon with a, a deeper breakdown uh, and we'll, we'll go from there. <laughs> All right. I love each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys.